we were talking about you apply, right? So you apply and then you mm -hmm. go through our diligence and our investment committee process. Um, so I, for example, sit on our investment committee. And so once that decision gets made, um, then it passes on to our onboarding team and our, you, have a, you will have a dedicated uh, onboarding campaign manager. And effectively what that means is helping you get set up for success. Because this is a investment offering, because you are offering securities, there are a couple of forms that you have to file with the SEC. You have to have gap compliant financials, things like that. So all that really translates to is you need a CPA and an attorney, and they need to make sure that everything about your investment offering is legitimate. Um, so your onboarding manager helps you through that process, effectively translating your pitch deck onto a landing page. Um, that will be the main place where you're collecting investment, helping you, you know, develop your assets and things like that. So you'll have a dedicated onboarding manager as well as a dedicated uh, campaign success manager. So someone who's making sure you're doing all the things you need to do uh, to be successful in actually raising that capital. And I think that hands-on approach that Republic takes, I have to say is probably the reason why we have such a high success rate are onboarding and marketing teams are just some of the smartest people that I've ever worked with um, and also the most kind and the most generous and so being able to sort of leverage their experience as sort of top marketing professionals in their respective industries um, and now they're on Republic helping hundreds of companies at once right um, and so being able to really think through your network think through how do you if you're a CPG company how can you put a QR code on your label so that when someone buys your product, they can scan that QR code and then become, uh, you know, a small you know, investor in your company as well. So what are the different ways that you can leverage um, your company, your network, your brand to be able to raise even more money and help you grow and not just raise that money, but you almost think of it as negative customer acquisition costs, right? So yeah. you're doing this marketing. It's at this inter intersection of marketing and investment. So not only are you taking on investment, but you're also gaining most likely a lifelong customer whose LTV has just expanded beyond your even comprehension because they're now an investor and they're going to tell every single one of their friends about you and make sure that they're only going to use your company into the future, right? And so Absolutely. just thinking about the power of almost psychology of when you're an investor in something and you're invested in that company's success, how that changes your behavior and your connection to that company and how you can use that to really grow your customer base, to grow your exposure, to get PR, to leverage, you know, these hundreds or thousands of investors um, to become startup advisors in a sense, right? You'll, you'll, we have people who have been able to get partnerships and business clients through their investor base, you know, folks who have hired on from their their investors. Um, there's just so many different ways that you can leverage the power of an investor base who is incredibly excited and compelled by your narrative and your story to the point where they've invested in.